everybody, welcome back. Quick reminder before I get started, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, give this video a thumbs up so that you never miss any of my wig related content. Today we're gonna take a look at another one of these human hair wigs by Wig She. This is wig 038 and it is described as a natural blonde ombre wavy wig. More on her in just a minute. Okay, let's start taking a look at this wig. So. Uh, I did style her and I'm gonna pop in a video showing you how I curled her at the end of the video. But um, yeah, she's a really, really cute wig. I like the color. I saw this color on another reviewer and I, I messaged them and I was gonna purchase one and they offered to send it to me, which was very, very kind of them. So um, it is a pretty blonde color. It comes in some other colors. Uh, like I said, this is wig 038. Don't forget also that you can save 10% if you use my code Lisa. I've got it up here in one of these corners. I never get the corner right whenever I point, so it'll be up here somewhere and you'll see it. And you can use that code to save a little bit of money. So uh, just, you know, really cute style. I asked them to send it to me in 12 inches because I wanted to try one of their wigs in a shorter length. Uh, so this is 12 inches. It is 120% density. I'm gonna just make sure I check off all the boxes here. Um, it has an HD lace that matches all skin tones. I did put just a little bit of um, my chalk pen up here. I did it by accident before I filmed the review. I actually filmed a short to put on Instagram and then I was like, oh shoot, I should have waited and done that after I did the review. But you guys can still see the knots when I show them to you and everything. So this is the lace front cap. Um, it is size small, but they do come in other sizes and it has lightly bleached knots. The hair is described as 100% highest quality premium, premium human hair. Uh, so they don't tell me, you know, on the website, what kind of hair it's soft. Um, I would say it's about a medium denier. Um, you know, it's not super baby fine, but, uh, but it's nice, you know, very nice natural looking hair. So really, really pretty. Okay, so here is the lace top and that line you're seeing, that's where I use that chalk pen. So don't be alarmed about that. That's just me putting chalk on the wig on the part. So, uh, but you know, full lace top and lace that I trimmed around here. I will pop in a little video at the end showing you how I trimmed the lace as well. So that lace starts all the way down here on the bottom of the ear tab and you just trim it up right along the hairline to customize your hairline. So if you have a widow's peak or something, you know, you can cut around that and that sort of thing. So just really nice that you can customize the hairline. So there are clips on the ear tabs. These I will actually remove. They're only held in with one or two, with a stitch there, two stitches on each end. So they're very, very easy to just, you know, remove the stitch and you can pull them out of there. There's a comb up here at the top. This is also removable. Again, it's just stitched in. Use your seam ripper, you can take it out if you don't want it. Um, it has a machine wefted cap. There's another comb down here. Again, that's removable. These combs, I don't really pay that much attention to. They just lay flat on my head, so I don't really, I don't usually remove them or anything. They don't do anything for me because I don't have any hair there to, you know, and I always wear a wig cap anyway. But if you do have hair under there, they're designed, you know, to help just to help secure the wig a little bit more. So you can see there are hook adjusters. You can adjust those all the way across the nape. And then she has an extended nape as well, which is really, really nice. So again, clip on that side. Okay, I'm gonna pop it back on in a minute and show you the color. But one thing I wanted to point out, I felt like you could see it maybe better off my head. This is one, one issue. So of course, this is a very affordable human hair wig, right? So um, it's not gonna be perfect. When you order these online, you know, your color might need to be adjusted. I have had colors adjusted, like my other wig she wig, the blonde one that I wig, that I wigged, that I reviewed several months ago. I had that one colored and I showed it on my Instagram, I think on my YouTube too. And it it I did it in a brunette just to cover up the rooting wasn't right and all that kind of stuff. So this one kind of has the same rooting. The root just it just sort of ends. And there is a line there. I think you can see it right here. So the rooting doesn't blend in that great, but I honestly feel like with this color, I need to have the rooting changed for me anyway. So, you know, these wigs, you're gonna get them at a discount, but just understand you may have to do, you know, send it to a colorist and have 
your color adjust a little bit or have it corrected a little bit, um, you're still going to save money because this wig is um, at the 12 inch length. When I checked it today, it was $515. And then if you were to use my code, you save 10% off of that. Um, so, and then it usually costs me for a wig about this length, it would probably cost me about 300 to have the color corrected. So, um, and the reason it costs that, sometimes it's a little bit of work. You know, they have to work with, they don't know what kind of dyes were used on the wig and stuff like that. So my colorist has had to kind of color and recolor and things like that, you know, to get it completely corrected. But, you know, it's totally up to you. I could also probably, you know, use some root spray and uh, correct that a little better myself. So, you know, you do have some options. So, but just know, I do see that line there. So if you guys see it, understand I'm seeing it too. And this is a budget-friendly wig. So these are the kind of things that we're gonna see and you have to decide, can you live with that? Or is it something that you wanna have corrected? So, but even with having it corrected, we're still only talking 515 for the wig, 300 to have it corrected, we're still at $800. That's really a good price for a human hair wig. And I do feel like the hair is really good quality, you know, and I'm I'm really happy with, with everything else about the wig. The cap fits me great. So, you know, to me, it would be worth it. So anyway, all right, so what I'm seeing with the color, they describe this as a blonde, natural blonde ombre. I am seeing a few colors going through here. So I would describe what I'm seeing as a beige blonde and a platinum. So I don't know the color numbers or anything like that, but so that is what I'm seeing. We will take it outside and look at it in different lighting. So right by my patio door, do you see that line? Do you see what I'm talking about with that rooting? It definitely needs to be blended better, you know, on the rooting. So you know, something that I'm gonna to need to have corrected for sure. And I can't guarantee that yours is gonna have that same line on it. I don't know. These tend to look different, you know, for everybody. So, um, you know, a little bit of inconsistency is another risk and consideration that you need to think about when ordering from a Chinese company. So, uh, but anyway, so we can look at the color. So you can see that light blonde, that beigey blonde. I did wanna mention that this color looks cool toned to me, just all over, all over cool toned. I'm not seeing warmth. It's a cool toned blonde. So, you know, if you're looking for that, it's a really, really pretty blonde. I don't think I showed y'all the knots and everything. I'll have to do that when I get back in the studio lighting too, but knots look really good. They use little tiny knots and I really like the way they do their knots. So we'll take it outside. How do you cover? And we'll walk over here to some sun. I can show it to you in the sun. So this is right before I'm entering the sun. Okay, I did want to show you all the knots. I forgot to show you those. So you can see the hairline. It looks really good. The knots look really good you know, all the way around the hairline. They are definitely tiny and they do lightly bleach them. So I'm really pleased with it. Okay, I'm gonna pop in those videos of me cutting the lace and doing some styling with my curling iron. So I thank you so much for watching. Take care. Don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye-bye.